Thanks again for joining us and happy Friday to you. Hope you're having a good day out there. Well, this morning I checked the wire and we did not once again have any overnight flash export sales to talk about. So everything was quiet on that front. Now, it has been a choppy affair in this grain market, though, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. We'll go ahead and take a look at these quotes provided by Bar Chart. We'll begin with the corn market. If you were with us earlier this morning, you saw where the corn market opened higher on the day. And things have kind of fizzled out here. So exhibit A, we have the December corn now a quarter of a cent lower. Now we're back down to 679 per bushel when we opened up this morning. I think it was around 682, if memory serves me correctly. So we have given that up and now we're hovering near the low of the day at this point. March down a quarter of a cent at 684 and a half. Now on soybeans, they opened up with a little more enthusiasm today and they haven't really given that up yet. You have January now trading at 1460 per bushel and that would be up 23 cents. So we're off of our earlier low from the uh, late overnight trade in this morning. We're off of that now by about a good 28 cents or so. Uh, we're 22 and three quarters higher than our close yesterday. Uh, there has been some talk that the soy products have been uh, propping up the uh, soybean trade. The wheat in Chicago, we have December two higher at 842 and a half after a high last night of 855 and a half. But we did dip down to 834 this morning, and then we bounced off of that by about eight cents again. So again, another wide ranging affair in the wheat market today. Kansas City, no different. Had a high last night on December of 958 and a half and a low of 939 this morning. And now we're at 947, just about right in the middle, and we're about five and three quarter cents higher on the day. On the uh, Minneapolis exchange, we have the December spring wheat now six and a quarter higher. We're at 949 and a quarter. And the cotton market has another day of big swings. We have December now 471 points higher. It's at 8771, and the March is now up 368 at 8587. Make it 370 higher now. And so the rally now continues in the cotton. Chris Swift is with us. He's with uh, Swift Trading in Nashville. Big dynamics going on here in the uh, grain market so far here today, Chris. Uh, are you surprised to see that kind of action heading into the weekend, or do you think that there's a lot of profit taking in this? I think there is a lot of volatility out there that is not going to subside anytime soon, simply because of the shortages in some supplies of products that we have, and still the amount of money that is floating around out there. And when you mention the products on the bean market, the bean oil is the one to really look at, simply because we're ch challenging contract highs. And the energy markets have really been pushing higher the last couple of days. Crude oil broken out to the upside, both diesel fuel and gasoline pushing higher. Those right there, because of the soybean oil and the ethanol product from corn and soybeans, is partly energy now. I think that's where a lot of that is coming from. Well, I'm glad you brought that up. Looking at the crude oil trade here, look at the December futures on West Texas crude. Wow, $3.00. 69 cents higher at 91.86 per barrel. Well, that's a big move to the upside. Everybody is worried about these diesel fuel prices. And if you go to the, the uh, January contract, it's up 3.6 cents again today. 3.68 and a half per gallon on the futures for diesel fuel. So uh, getting up there at uh, really lofty levels on the futures trade. What's gasoline doing? Well, we have the uh, December up almost six cents. You have January up seven and a quarter cents now at 265.5 per gallon. And that's on the futures exchange. All right, we'll uh, come back in just a moment and we'll talk more with Chris Swift. We'll talk about this livestock trade today and what's driving ahead, ahead of the weekend. And I'll try and get my voice back too right after this. Thanks for joining us once again. Always a pleasure to visit with you about our ag commodity trade. Uh, we're talking with Chris Swift right now. He is with Swift Trading. The dollar value has had some big swings. Let me uh, bring that up here, Chris. Um, the U.S. dollar index we were looking at earlier today just took a big nosedive, and it's continuing to go even lower as we speak. December, U.S. dollar index futures now down almost 2,000 points, believe it or not. We're down 1,954 points, and we're all the way down to 110.850. First of all, what's causing that, and what kind of impact would that have like on our meat trade? 
I think it has to do with the huge shifts in what our Federal Reserve is doing with the interest rates and how they're trying to combat the inflation aspect of it. And um, however much they may be able to or not able to control the inflation, what we know is it impacts businesses the worst. Because not every consumer goes out there and borrows money every day, but we know businesses run off lines of credit every day, and those tend to not be fixed. They float. So there's a lot of aspect to businesses with those higher interest rates. I I think probably what we're looking at cattle today, we saw a huge increase in the employment rate. So I think that is very friendly towards the cattle market, maybe the beef market really more so than cattle. uh, But that helps kind of keep everything higher. And the only thing that I can really say, I don't know whether cattle prices are going to go higher or lower, but the input cost to put a pound of gain on that just continues to soar. So live cattle futures at the moment here, Chris, are just narrowly mixed. They don't know what to do. Apparently, December is a nickel higher, but February, 22 cents lower. We're at 154.65 right now. On the feeder cattle trade today, here, uh, if if I can get it to switch, it doesn't want to switch very badly. It's going. Here we go. We have January feeders now 60 higher. We're at 180.02. Uh, so it is on the plus side, but it had to rally about $1.20 off of its earlier low to get there. And on the lean hog market, you have December 7 higher, but February down a nickel at 87.12. So choppy markets, and it seems like we just cannot really get anywhere, even though we had some stellar pork export sales yesterday of way over 40,000 tons that were sold once again last week. And the lean hogs just aren't able to capitalize on that. They're kind of sagging right now. Well, Chris, thanks for all the information. Good to hear from you. You have a good weekend, too. Chris Swift of Swift Trading. Janet, that's a look at our markets. I'll turn it back to you.